Hello friends, hope you are doing well and staying safe. So yes, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I got bunch of accessories for my Kawasaki Versus 650. So it's time to go ahead and uh, install one of them, uh, which I was eagerly waiting to go ahead and install for quite some time and not been able to take time out during the week. But yeah, it's Friday. so a bit relaxed today and uh, got some time this morning so I thought I'll go ahead and do an installation of uh, the Sensory tire pressure monitoring system or which is known as TPMS so this is a two sensors pack right by a company called time ticks and uh, it's a Indian product as per what it says here it's manufactured and packed in India so yeah this costed me about 2800 rupees got this from bike and biker i'm going to leave the uh, product uh, description link along with the purchase link in the description section right so to start with uh, the product uh, can be used for a wide range of uh, pressure range and it's got a one plus year battery replacement or the life right it works on bluetooth technology where you can download the app if you're using android or ios and uh, can be used on tube and tubeless and the best part is if you got a smartwatch or uh, apple watch you get notifications there as well so yeah that's a good thing um, so with that let's go ahead and see what's in the box so the box is made such a way that it cannot be sealed back once open right that's a fantastic idea and can avoid any kind of uh, tampering so what's there in this so first thing what is there is uh, I think this is to download the app the QR code and then uh, you can configure add a vehicle etc so that's something which is there and uh, yeah so it's got a very long uh, installation instructions right so quite a lot i think you need to sign up using gmail facebook or ios etc if you're apple and then you see you download the the you once you log in you see the dashboard screen then uh, you can add the device manually enter your vehicle name etc <clears throat> and then uh, open the sensor lid I think uh, the battery need to be enabled or installed the batteries are provided separately here on the side as you can see right here so all these things and there are these nuts to secure and there is a spanner as well to tighten those nuts and I think this is banner which I need to carry in my toolkit all times um, if uh, and if this comes loose or whatsoever i should be able to tighten it back right and secure this otherwise there's a chance of uh, these getting stolen so yeah looks really compact and looks looks really nice and uh, okay let's okay it's a thread type so i just need to slide in the battery inside this to the terminals negative is down and positive is down so i'll do that and uh, i'll speak to you all in a while so let me assemble this product and then i'll speak to you all in a while and then we can uh, go ahead and uh, see how this particular device works uh, on the mobile how we how we can check the tire pressure etc so i'll just go ahead and follow all these instructions and install the app set it up and then uh, I'll come back to you all and then we will follow the procedure was outlined here in terms of installation 1 to 6 and uh, take a look at it how it uh, how it does okay friends I just uh, installed the app using the QR code what's been provided here on this particular sheet and I'm on Android 
so I, once I launched the app I got to the screen right where it's asking me to select a type of vehicle and etc all those things so I'm going to go ahead and select uh, that uh, so it can monitor all sort of vehicles is what it's telling me so so I think it can show some analytics as well here where we can visualize last 30 days uh, temperature how things are getting recorded right I think this is tire 1 tire 2 etc amazing <clears throat> so yeah this looks to be the console so I think this is about uh, floating notifications let's go ahead and sign in I'm doing it using my Gmail so so add your vehicle to get started so I think I'm going to add the vehicle scan QR code to add vehicle scan QR code okay your setup QR code I think this is the one So proceed installing the sensors for list of further support okay let me go ahead and install the sensors we do not have GPS location everywhere allow the app to access okay proceed so I will allow while using the app I think that's better right otherwise I might end up draining the battery or let me try out allow the app to get alarm on unsafe pressure data yes I want an alarm when the tire pressure is really gone low got it okay now now let me go ahead and install the batteries into this particular device and put it on the vehicle and then we will go ahead and take a look at the setup hey guys so i'm done with installing the app on my mobile and uh, i've put in the battery inside these uh, sensors so this is going to be my front and this is going to be my back so as soon as I put the battery it got uh, detected on the mobile and I think it got paired it said this is the first one and front one and this is the back right so I'm going to install the rear one now so first uh, I've gone, gone ahead and put this particular lock nut uh, as, in, as they mentioned as you can see hopefully let me get closer so yeah the particular lock nut so one more for the front tire I'll be doing it in a while so there is this lock nut I am I have put in so I moved it all the way back so then I am going to put the sensor I am going to put this sensor and these sensors by the way are waterproof it's got o-rings inside these caps and avoid unnecessary over tightening of the sensor to the valve okay and once we install this we need to move back the lock nut in anti-clockwise position so we are just going to keep it just as much required not over tightening anything at all here okay now we need to move this particular lock nut back 
in anti clockwise so which is what i am doing right now and tighten this up right just not too much not too less just so that it stays there so let's uh, go ahead and take a look uh, on the app what's going on now if it's really detecting any tire pressure sensory wow so guys as you can see i see the tire pressure of my rear tire which is at 34.6 psi so this thing got auto paired so i didn't have to do anything i just put the battery and app was on it started giving me notifications so now likewise just i like how i did the rear tire i'm going to do the front tire installation and uh, pretty pretty simple and self explanatory process hey friends i'm um, just done with installing this particular product and uh, just looking at the ui console of the app and looks really neat it displays the front and rear tire pressure and uh, also telling me when was this last checked right one minute one second ago etc so i think it's a continuous uh, real time tpms let's see what's in the dashboard i think that's the dashboard about the bike and sorry okay let's see what's in the 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 the, the. about the bike okay here okay connect hud i don't know what's that set altitude i think you can set different altitudes and check the temperature or rather pressure of your tires or you could use the current location so cancel that and then uh, i think this is to map the sensors uh, this is my front and this is my back each of them have a respective bluetooth uh, device ids and uh, i think you can change it to psi bar or kpa etc and let it be in the psi and this is uh, identifying sensors i think this is to pair i'm not going to do this because my tires are already paired i think i need to interrupt that okay change temperature unit i think degrees and fahrenheit i think this is really amazing product guys uh, in terms of uh, a software what is you know uh, provided along with the device right compared to the one which where you have a hardware device here where you need to keep uh, toggling that and it you know also get some a lot of unnecessary attention from people and you know a lot of people in a country have habit of you know pressing the switches and trying to fiddle around with stuff and keep doing all sort of things right with others bikes so i think with that i think this is an amazing option uh, to have it as a software version so yes guys uh, so tire pressure is 31 in the front and 34 in the rear uh, expected or ideal tire pressure for solo riding or for my versus is uh, 33 and 36 so i'm probably get that get that adjusted over the weekend so yes guys so that's little bit about uh, about uh, the tpms installation and how it works yes uh, definitely uh, we'll talk more about this particular product as i use it more and more Yes look forward to hear from you um, in the comment section please feel free to let me know how you find this particular product and uh, so on and so forth thank you